oftentimes I will place in my files that uh, something can be print to cut or it's suitable for print to cut. Um, I intend it to be print and cut actually. Um, this is one of them, so I'm going to show you how you do that in Cricut Design Space. This is from the Venus Flytrap file. And if I zoom in, I already pulled it in, but this is as it comes in. You can't see it, but as you zoom in, there's kind of like little white specks in there. Oh, I used a specific kind of a distressed looking font, so it would look a little fun when you uh, printed it out. So it's not something you can cut easily. So when you get those files, um, usually I will uh, either have them in the extra folder or as part of the file. But if you find them like this, um, they're um, over here. I have another file that I'm going to show you, but we're going to hide that. Um, the Venus flytrap got files tag. So you see it's two things. There's the tag and then there's the, the actual uh, font. So what we want to do is you could just as is if you don't want to change the colors you can just go ahead right click and say flatten I know you can't really see it but there's an outline so it'll cut the outside it'll print it out on your printer so you'll go ahead and do the printing cut like you would normally with any other printing cut um, I'm not going to go through the whole process of doing it uh, but if you need help you could always reach out to me but we would just go and hit make it and we could just go ahead on the left hand side it says print and then you print it out on your printer and then you'll line it up on your mat just like you see it here and then you'll go ahead and load it into your mat when you're prompted by the the software so if you didn't want it to be black because I have a default color of black let's go ahead and unflatten it because you can do that so now unfortunately you can't really see the the white part but um, over here, and you could do this before you unflatten, but I just wanted to show you. Right here in the upper left, we have under print, and we have colors. So we can change it to any color we want. Blue, I mean, obviously, black was probably more appropriate, but let's say you wanted a brown. Or you could go under advanced and put whatever color you want. You can see how it's changing over there. So we go like that. And let's say you just wanted something that matched uh, the color scheme of your project. And then we'll go ahead and highlight them. And you just have to drag over all the elements. You don't have to go all the way around. It'll automatically highlight everything. And then we'll just go ahead and um, up in the lower right here, you could do f uh, flatten. Or you could right click and do it like I did before. But we'll use the lower right, flatten. So now it says in the upper right, it says cut and print. So that's what it'll do. So that's that example. So that's the most common thing that you'll see in our files. So let me go ahead and hide that. So let me unhide this group. And I'm going to show you how to do print and cut on um, images that layer. And this is uh, with a cut from our helmet box. So let's see if I can bring that up. So here it is. You can see that, um, I'm just kind of zoom in. Usually you print and cut these things and plus, um, so that's the stars and then these right here. So let's say you wanted to print and cut that rather than um, cut out the individual colors. So let's go ahead and close that. So over here, first it's all in one bunch. So let's go ahead and ungroup. So let's right click and say ungroup. And it's several groups, so let's just continue ungrouping until they're all ungrouped. They're usually grouped by color. So these two are going to be the same, so I'm going to delete one. So I'm going to put it to the side. You'll see in a minute what I mean. Okay, so the way this goes is this is centered over that, and then this is centered over here. So we could just put all those over there and then highlight them and go up here under a line and say center right there. Now it didn't exactly center but it did do the circle so that we just want to adjust it a little bit and that's just because the center of the star is slightly different um, than the circle. 
but let's get it in the area like right there that looks good then because my printing cut aren't always uh, it's not really ready for printing cut per se for this one because it's not intended for it so let's say we want to go change the color so we can go in the upper left here and let's change it to a white star and let's say I want it different colors because I have uh, you know my son's team or something plays for a different team and you want to have their school colors I'm gonna do green we'll go with the Packers colors so I'm just now doing let's see yellow so you'd have to choose the colors let's say we did that so right here let's go ahead and change the same colors let's go ahead and make this this green and this yellow so we can go ahead and choose here up in the upper right color sync and we'll go ahead and just drag this to the green here and we'll drag this to the yellow so the same thing here I'm gonna just come up here so some of these are easier than others because these are just these are rectangles obviously so it's a little bit easier so we're gonna align Let's see center vertically and then we'll go align so you could do center but I just wanted to see in center horizontally so you could have done just align center and it should have done it so now we have the stripe that we can print and cut and this we can print and cut now I'm gonna get rid of this for now because we don't need it because we're just gonna duplicate this so we have the colors we like so let's just highlight everything right click and say flatten the same thing here highlight everything right click and flatten so we go to make it and you'll realize that we get this error message now I actually did this on purpose so you can see that there's a limitation to print and cut so if I just if I went like this and hid hit this if I hit up there and it tells you what the limitation is image too large reduce image size of course I can't really reduce it because it's has to be sized this much um, exactly the way it needs to be unless I resize the whole file so just realize when you do a print to cut that you're limited to 6.75 by 9.25 so this is for illustration purposes only I wanted you to get that error message so you can understand that there's limitations on how large you can print and it does give you an error message in the upper right hand corner so if I hide this and now say let's duplicate this because I have two of them let's say I decide I'm just gonna print and cut the star and I'm going to use regular paper for the um, you know regular uh, cardstock for the stripe I can go ahead and duplicate this for either side go ahead and click make it and now it'll go ahead and give us something to print so just to let you know that you can modify I'm going to cancel this so you can modify a lot of the files that you get including ours you could just layer them on the screen and print and cut them if you didn't know now some files are already prepped for that um, but I just wanted to show you a method of doing so I hope you found this helpful and uh, if you did like this content or it was helpful to you please give me a like below and or subscribe to our channel and I thank you so much for watching